last video we learned how to tie the actual feathers themselves using those mylar shiny tube type things uh, so this video is just how to assemble the rig itself so so take about a meter of main line I'd use a clear for this I'm just using the string so you can see do a figure of eight and that's the same thing here with the uh, mono line um, and then you do a slightly bigger loop on the other end and one end will have your clip for the main line and that end there is actually going to have a weight on it and then traditionally for, for mackerel rigs you actually go straight onto the lead you can of course use a swivel here but you need to make sure there's a nice big loop with that figure of eight to go over the lead so you're using minimal amount of a tackle there Now we're going to tie on four droppers and you just need to do two overhand knots and they should, when it bites down, give you two little openings like that. So I do one on the top of the rig and one, of the bottom, one on the bottom of the rig, just a few inches in. You can see there on the top left we're tying those knots, one, two, three and four. And Once I've tied the top one and the bottom one then it's obviously dividing that distance by three so there's an equal gap really between the each of the mackerel feather droppers yeah so that that knot that we've we've just used will be once over twice over and when you pull it close it up like that you need to leave two little gaps and we'll come on to why in a minute so this yellow line represents the line that is going to the feather and the lure that we tied in the last video you go up through the first loop down through the second loop and you've cut these snoods to about 20 centimeters long so that their hook doesn't touch the other hook above and below and then you can pull it through and all you're going to do is form a loop and then go inside both the main bit of line and the dropper line and I tend to go through three or four times so it's once twice it's three times is enough on that and you pull that tight and then you've got to basically tweak each bit of line to keep it nice and tight and the yellow line which will be attached to your mackerel feather is the one that's coming through so Again, I'm, I'd use clear line for all of this, but I'm using the black so you can see it a little bit better. So I've, what I've done there, I've come up through the uh, first loop, down through the other loop, formed that loop there, and then I'm just going to work around four turns. Back through the hole and pull that tight. Just cut off a bit of yellow line there to see, but that would be on the main rig. And then you're pulling the black line through, and obviously you want to close up the knot on the yellow line as well, so it looks like that. Always moisten it and then trim. And that's it, you can use that knot for all sorts of droppers, really, multi hook rigs. Uh, but I use that for the feathers. Uh, give it a go. It'd be great to know how you get on. And please don't forget to subscribe.